another good example of uh, airplane pr prototype versus production was the going in thesis or assumptions of the prototype ATF. And that was they would have in-flight thrust reversing up to 600 knots. So at the most embryonic stages of thinking about an ATF, that was one of the constraints. Well, if you can imagine throwing a big engine like an F-119 into full, at full power at 600 knots reversing the thrust direction, you can imagine the structural loads that would be taken into the airframe. And uh, the Air Force did some testing with uh, F-15, a uh, maneuvering technology demonstrator, SMTD. And they came to the conclusion that a thrust reverser at high speeds was not going to be economically feasible. However, that decision didn't come soon enough to affect the prototype. So the prototypes actually have much larger and heavier structure and we call them the bread loads. So on a YF-23, if you look at the area where the engine inlets come up into the engines, externally, those are big lumps that look like a loaf of bread, if you will. And the airplane for production would not have had thrust reversing, nor did the prototype. So we got rid of all that structure for the production and moved the engine slightly closer together. That's what you see when you make the comparison.